Good morning and welcome once again to our beautiful courtyard at our Basilica at Carmel Mission. Uh, we finish up our week of honouring mothers and motherhood with a poem by E. E. Cummings, that famous uh, poet who was born in 1894 in Massachusetts. From the age of eight, he knew he wanted to be a poet, and his poems cultivated and encouraged his writing. He was educated at Harvard, uh, where his father was actually a professor, and he began to develop an interest in modern poetry, which ignored conventional grammar and syntax, while aiming for a, dy a, dynamic, a dynamic use of language. Uh, this began a hallmark, became a hallmark of his mature work. He was famous for not using capitalization and an unorthodox use of parentheses, as well as free-form verse, without the traditional structure of conventional poetry. So he uh, was markedly different from other poets of his age. He was also a painter, and uh, some of his poems, including the one that I share today, are also works for art to see on the page. Uh, if you enjoy the poem, I encourage you also to take a look at it in our online bulletin. Despite Cummings' reputation for uh, in iconoclasm in uh, literary circles, uh, much of his work is more traditional. In addition to thousands of poems, he wrote several plays and an autobiographical novel. In the latter years of his life, he returned to his alma mater, Harvard, as a guest professor. He died in 1962 at the age of 67. E. E. Cummings. The poem is entitled, If There Are Any Heavens, My Mother Will. If there are any heavens, my mother will, all by herself, have one. It will not be a, a pansy heaven, nor a fragile heaven of lilies of the valley, but it will be a heaven of blackened roses. My father will be deep like a rose, tall like a rose, standing near my, swaying over her silent, with eyes which are really petals, and see nothing with the face of a poet really, which is a flower, and not a face with hands, which whisper, this is my beloved, my Suddenly, in sunlight, he will bow. The whole garden will bow. Cummings enjoyed a close and supportive relationship with both his parents, and his love for them truly shines through in this poem. He clearly knows his mother well, and she's enough of a force for him to imagine she will be able to organize heaven to her own liking, with the only the flowers that she approves of. Uh, perhaps some of us can relate. His father will be a flower in her garden, lovingly watching over her and honoring her. What a beautiful image. What flowers will your mother have in her garden in heaven? As always, I invite you to send your prayer requests to Father Rodrigo and myself. Just go to our website at carmelmission.org and press on that prayer request button. Uh, we will be so happy to take those intentions with us in our daily prayers and masses. Thank you again for joining us this morning, and I, I wish you a day full of happiness, peace, and good health.